us. Today we're kicking off our DevNet Innovator Series. And uh, I'm Susie Wee, I'm the VP and CTO of DevNet. And our first DevNet Innovator who we're featuring is Jose Bogarin. So Jose, will you please introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Susie. I'm Jose Bogarin, I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at Altus. We're a company based in Costa Rica and we're focused on Cisco collaboration products and you know technologies in general. Great, thanks Susie. Thank you. Uh, so as part of DevNet, DevNet is Cisco's developer program. And what we have in DevNet is uh, a program which certainly helps people code on Cisco's technologies and platforms. And we provide tools so that people can understand the APIs and access them. In addition, we have a lot of learning materials so people can learn how to code or learn, how, learn about networking and things like that. And then we have inspirations. We have DevNet innovations that show cool things that people have used on Cisco APIs and also allow people to connect with community forums and communities of interest so that we can really get that discussion going. Um, we've been working with Jose from the very beginning of DevNet, which was uh, a few years ago. San Francisco. Yeah. San Francisco, yes. So, uh, so Jose uh, was in our very first DevNet zone. He was in the front row of every <laughs> session. It was just amazing. You were just yeah. eating software. Yeah. Um, and now you've used a lot of uh, Cisco's technology. So can you just tell us about a problem that you were having that you were trying to solve? Sure, yeah. Well, we've been working on a solution for the Contact Center Express. Mainly, the main yeah, use case or problem that we have right now, it's that configuration is somewhat complicated for the end user. So they actually have to go to IT. And sometimes IT has to go through their Cisco partner so a simple configuration change that might take, I don't know, maybe five minutes, maybe takes them like two days because they have to go through their help desk and then through the Cisco partner help desk. So depending on the SLAs, we have even seen cases like it takes them maybe a week. And it's maybe a very simple change. So that's like the main use case right now, trying to yeah, provide a very simple interface to use for the end user to make those changes without compromising the behavior of the contact center. And so uh, just to then get a little bit more specific into the problem is in the contact center, you have contact center agents, right? So people who are making calls, they have different types of expertise depending on the kind of problem that comes in. And then, uh, and then your system basically is helping to, uh, to kind of change, uh, to, to change their priorities. Exactly. Yeah, we can actually go ahead and change the priorities, the skills that they have in the contact center, the competency level that they have in those skills. And we can actually change, for example, how the contact service queue is handles the calls that get to the contact center. And even the IVR, for example, when they, when they went to change, for example, the audios, or change the, um, the order of the IVR, we can actually go ahead and do that also with the APIs. Great. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your solution? Sure, yeah. Well, um, here's a, you know, the very novel infrastructure. We have the router, the Cisco Unified Communications Manager, and the Cisco Unify Contact Center Express. And here's our software, it's Altus Contact Center Manager. What we use is actually the REST APIs that you have in the Unified Contact Center Express. And we actually go ahead and from our software, we change, um, for example, how the agents, uh, the skills of the agents in the contact center, we change uh, uh, the skills that the contact service queues are uh, assigned to. So we actually go ahead and you know provide a very easy to use web interface for the line of business users to make those changes to the contact center without them having to go through the administrator interface of the contact center express. Great, and so, uh, so basically this is all the guts that's going on underneath the contact center. So when someone makes a call, all the automation is happening through the contact center express and through your product here. Exactly. Um, tell us specifically about the APIs that you are using. Sure. Yeah, actually, well, the APIs part was really easy because we went just to the developers.cisco.com and there's a collaboration area and in there there's a link for the Unified Express API. So we actually went there and it's a very well documented API and it's very easy to work with. And we actually went and you know, started reading the documentation, you know, doing tests with Postman, the Chrome you know, uh, little app that you have. I started you know, sending some REST API calls. It was very easy for us. And then we actually went ahead and you know, started a sandbox um, machine and start doing you know tests with that you know, sandbox and we say hey it's very easy to use and we start you know developing with that in well with those race SPIs. Great. That's great. 
All right, so uh, so Jose, you've been also coming to DevNet for a long time. Yeah. So uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about how kind of DevNet has helped you and what kind of tools other people might find interesting in sure. DevNet? Yeah, I mean, I mean DevNet has been such a great journey for me. My first DevNet was San Francisco 2014, then San Diego 2015, now Vegas. I mean, um, and it's been very, very helpful. It's been a great learning opportunity for me. You can actually go ahead and talk to so many experts here. And I mean, it's been great for us. Yeah, and well, and you have the, the page where you have all this documentation in a central point. And it's very easy to you know, you start reading the documentation. And then on top of that, you can actually go ahead and speed up and sandbox API and, and start working with that machine. So DevNet has been very helpful for us to go from a, just an idea to an actual product, Hope DevNet has been, you know, very super helpful for us. Excellent. Uh, now, in addition, you were kind of transforming yourself to, uh, you know, go from, uh, you know, certainly doing a lot of excellent work in the contact center and in collaboration, but now to enter this world of software. So, um, and that's what really got me about you is when I saw you in the DevNet zone in that very first time, you were learning and learning, but then you also helped your whole practice go to software. So you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I'm the traditional networking guy, you know, the CCNA, CCMP guy that started with the networking academies. Actually, it was my first experience with Cisco. So um, maybe like three years ago, my CEO started saying, hey, he read actually one of the Mark Anderson's blogs that every company should be a software company, something like that. So he sent me to the Cisco Live in San Francisco. And I, hey, here, there's a definite area there you have to go and learn. It was very good for us. We started with you know developing maybe a couple of months before that DevNet came to light. But when I got to DevNet, it really opened my eyes of the kind of things that you can do with Cisco APIs. And this huge language that the, all, everybody talks about, it's Python. So when I got to San Francisco and say everybody was telling me, hey, you gotta learn Python, you gotta learn Python. And it was really good for us, man. It was like that big you know learning experience and starting to see what the APIs can do, what you can do with Python, it was very, very good for us to do that in DevNet. And then, yeah, in 2015, I went to several talks about microservices and, you know, the whole DevOps culture. So it really has been um, very helpful for us to know this, to be in these sessions and to take that knowledge back home and start, you know, um, incorporating our practices. And it's been very, um, how you say it, in a very competitive market, when you can actually take those ideas and innovate with those ideas, it really makes a difference. Great. Excellent. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Excellent. So, uh, you know, there's other places that we can come in to get more information about, uh, about Cisco DevNet. So you can go to developer.cisco.com. Uh, and in addition, we can come in and also learn about uh, Altus as well. Thank you.